Uh, as the chair of the council, uh, I, it is my pleasure to make a special presentation this evening. And to do that, I'm actually going to go down there. Uh, so just one minute. As some of you may be aware, uh, Anne Swift Kayata decided not to run for re-election to the council this time around, and she is uh, therefore completing her fourth term on the council, uh, meaning she has been on, serving on the council with distinction for the last 12 years. And I would like to take this opportunity to say a few things about Anne Swift Kayata. Uh, she was first elected to the town council in May of 1999, thus is the only sitting member of the council to have served in the 20th century. <laughs> Prior to serving on the council, she was a trustee of the Thomas Memorial Library and served as chair of the trustees in 1998 and 1999. Anne was a Pond Cove Media Center and classroom volunteer. She served in 1999 on the Community Center Study Committee and had been president of the Cape Elizabeth Middle School Parents Association from 1996 to 1998. Aside from her town council work, Anne served on the United Way of Greater Portland Allocations Committee and now serves as a member and vice chair of the United Way Board of Directors. She also has been a director of the United Way Foundation of Greater Portland. She is a member of the South Portland Cape Elizabeth Rotary Club and organizes its lobster bake each year. She also has seen many months helping the club at the Wayside Soup Kitchen. As you can tell, Anne doesn't sit around very much doing nothing. Uh, she has worked to advance the interests of municipalities statewide, serving as an executive committee member of the Maine Mun Municipal Association, as chair of its legislative policy committee, and as MMA president. When a proposal came forward that would have ended majority rule on issues of mun municipal and school budgets, she participated as treasurer of Citizens United to Public Safety, Schools, and Communities. She helped lead the successful campaign and also helped to overturn a similar effort to take away excise tax revenues from communities. MMA will also remember her leadership in advocating for a new wing of their building that is used to train municipal officers statewide. While serving on the council for 12 and a half years, she has chaired the Appointments Committee, the Ordinance Committee, the Finance Committee, and has three times chaired the Town Council. She served on a task force to study the impacts of proposed tax caps and served on the Comprehensive Planning Commission, which met 29 times and held three additional public forums. She was a member of the Thomas Memorial Library Study Committee, which identified the need for a new vision for the library. Every position she has held has seen her devote countless hours to reviews and analyses on what are the best steps to move forward. When she sought a position on, as a town councillor in 1999, she told the Cape Courier, among her reasons for running, through my education and experience, I have learned how to manage projects that require teamwork, the building of consensus and staying within a budget. I will listen well and work hard. Her prediction or promise in 1999 as to how she would carry out her service on the town council and beyond was spot on. The town council, recognizing that Anne has fully devoted more than 12 years of her life to extraordinary community service, decided, without her present, that the customary thank you for her service does not measure up to what she has accomplished. To recognize her for listening well, for working hard, for practicing teamwork, for building consensus, and for improving our community, Tonight, we announce that she is the 22nd recipient of Cape Elizabeth's Ralph Gould Award for Community Service. The award was established in 1986 to recognize those who truly make a difference to our community through volunteer service and has done so not only on the town council, but in so many ways, helping people and helping organizations serving Maine citizens. This recognition of Anne is truly special, as it is only the second time that it, that it has been awarded to someone while they are still serving on the Cape Elizabeth Town Council. 
The only other such recipient was Bill Jordan. Therefore, this recognition trumpets how much we truly admire what Anne has done for Cape Elizabeth. Congratulations, Anne, on being the 2011 recipient of the Ralph Gould Award. thank the council and um, everyone. This was a surprise to me. I just found out just before the meeting and uh, I was taken greatly by surprise. But I want to thank the council not just for the award, but for their support and their friendship. You know, I've learned many times uh, over and over again during my time on the council that uh, there's one great lesson. Nobody gets much done on their own when they're on the council or frankly in life. So I need to thank four sets of people. First of all, in my 12 and a half years on the council, I've served with 19 different counselors, and I've learned something from every single one of them, so thank you. Secondly, I've also been lucky to work with Mike McGovern, our town manager, his staff, and what is the best, and I think the most professional set of municipal employees in Maine. I want to thank them for helping me learn more about Cape Elizabeth than I ever thought possible, and also for all that they do to make Cape Elizabeth a great place. The third group I want to thank is the citizens of Cape Elizabeth who have elected me four times. You have educated me, and you have kept me focused with your many, many comments <laughs> and many, many questions. But thanks to you, I have stayed on course when I've had to deal with some um, difficult issues. So I thank you for your participation in your government. It's what makes uh, government work when the people are involved. And I appreciate all that you've done to participate. And last day, I have to thank my family, my daughters, and especially my husband, Bill, because without their support, I wouldn't have been able to devote so much time to public service. You know, what we do on the council and working for the town does, I think, make a real difference in people's lives. Uh, you know, roads and libraries and parks and sewers and planning and the fire services and police services and um, all those things. All those services are important to citizens every day and they're things that people really need. My years of public service have given me not only a passion for good government, but also a great deal of respect for municipal employees, uh, for municipal officials, both elected and appointed. You know, as corny as it sounds, I believe that local government is a noble calling. I mean, that sounds sort of funny, but for modest or sometimes even no pay, a lot of people don't realize that counselors don't get paid at all, we work hard to make our community better. I am very proud to have served among you and for you as all of us in municipal government have done what we can to, to, to do our best to meet the needs of the citizens of Cape Elizabeth. So to sum up, it's been a privilege to serve and I, I appreciate the fact that I've been privileged to serve you. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate all that my counselors, my fellow counselors, the municipal employees, and most of all, the citizens, all that you have done, all your respect and kindness over the past years, and sometimes even your, uh, your cranky calls or cranky emails, that's okay because it's important that you remain in touch with your government and that we remain in touch with you. My time on the council has been one of the most satisfying periods of my life. And that's due in no small part to all of you and to all of you. So thank you.